guys, welcome to Canadian Rimfire, and today I'm going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself budget plate rack for under 100 bucks. Okay, so here we are on the kitchen island, and I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to do this and what you're going to need. So first, what I did was I looked for cheap ways to make this plate rack happen for less than 100 bucks, because I'm a budget man shooter, I like shooting as much as I can, for as least amount of money as I can get away with. So, uh, what I did was I went on Amazon and I got a, a do-it-yourself target hanging kit that costs 50 bucks and that comes with four of these hooks here, shaped like that. And they say it's AR500 steel, but I mean, you never know. It's uh, still made in China. And it comes with uh, two 3 8 four inch round uh, gong style targets. Uh, which is also AR-500 steel, but again, you never know, buyer beware. And it comes with these two uh, A-shaped pieces with a hole in the top for the horizontal piece, but you'll see how that works in a second. Um, also, I bought this Champion uh, 3 8 inch thick uh, AR-500 USA steel for the middle target, just because it only came two and three is a better number. So, uh, so far we're about uh, 70 bucks with this target. And I also got off of Amazon and $50 for the uh, Amazon starter kit there. So for $30 at Home Depot, what you're going to go and pick up is a 10 foot length of this uh, galvanized steel electrical conduit. And that's 32 bucks. So we're right around 100 bucks for the whole setup. And uh, all you got to do is take your uh, 10 piece length of pipe, bring it home, set it down, immediately cut four feet off of that 10 feet. And this is your four foot horizontal bar, super easy. You're gonna make a few more cuts and those cuts are gonna be at a uh, foot and a half, so 18 inches. So if you do the math there, we have six feet and four legs and a four foot horizontal piece. So all we're gonna do here, when we have everything laid out, everything cut, marked, measured, and done, we're gonna take our horizontal piece here and we're going to run these hooks just down the center of this like so pretty easy now we're going to put our a piece shaped AR 500 steel on both ends like so so setup time here is uh, probably only a couple of minutes guys so it's you know well worth the, the trouble so we're going to put our legs on just like so one side there. And let's move this over a bit. There we go. We're gonna pop our other legs on. So and just like that there. Okay, it's pretty easy. So simple even I can do it, right? So what you want to do is have a little space obviously in the middle for your targets. You can run these out a bit and then how these A pieces work is that when they're straight up like that you can move them. But when you kick the legs out like that, then it locks against these pieces holding everything in place. So never mind the spacing, it's just for demonstration purposes. So we're going to spread out the hooks like this here. Okay, we got uh, one here, just pop it on the hook like that. Next one, just pop on the hook like that. And I got two hooks left over, so for the uh, champion steel one, I'm just gonna put this one on two hooks. So it's real, real good. Nothing doesn't fall apart. I've already taken this to the range. I've already put some some rounds into these targets. They hold up pretty well. Um, I would say the ones in these kits are more rated for rim fire or maybe 17 HMR, but no uh, 223 or anything bigger than that. Um, the steel pipe that I used here can take hits from rim fire as well as the shrapnel with the 360 degree radius of spray and stuff. But I did hit it once with 17 HMR and did put a pretty significant dent in it, but it didn't puncture. But I mean, it's a hundred bucks. Um, I'm just trying to uh, do something inexpensive. And for a hundred bucks, you can't ask for more than that. This uh, survived the day at the range and I can't complain. Easy to get all the material, put it together um, and uh, set it up wherever you're going and take it down. I mean, I, I literally made this uh, entire unit in about, I don't know, 15 minutes. And uh, I didn't even have my sawzall with me, so I had to use a hand saw. So 15 minutes for to make those four cuts and put everything together. And uh, it's super easy. Takedown takes 10 seconds and uh, it holds up to 
anything you want to hit it with. So if you liked my video uh, today, guys, I hope you found it informative. If you like it, please like and uh, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. And for now, keep your stick on the ice, boys. Materials you're going to need for this video to do it yourself are four hooks, three targets, two A style pieces here, and one 10 foot length galvanized one inch steel conduit.